in Atlanta, Orlando, Indianapolis, Houston, and now. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Radio. Hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's your girl Skittles, and welcome back again. We on another Thursday, and not for nothing, it's Pillow Soak with Skittles. And if y'all have not downloaded the Black Ink Radio app, Please make sure y'all go and download it. I'm tired of telling y'all every week. Go Period. download it. Go download it. So, I just want to know how everybody feeling today. Everybody I'm, good? You know, I'm good. Oh, shit. You good? Very Girl. good. All right. You good, See, You good? Everybody good? Cheeks, you good over there, Miss Cheeks? <laughs> you look pretty as fuck. You welcome. BK, you good? All right now, top notch, we good? Real good. All right, so let's get to it. I got so many motherfucking people in the building, so much good news to share with y'all, so let's get to it. I got my girl top notch in the motherfucking building. Let the people know where you from. Shout out to New York. Every time I go anywhere, I got to Can we just hit that shit again? I can't hear you. You're going to have to talk a little bit louder because when I heard what you just said, you got to make sure they hear yeah, you say I'm from New York. Shout oh, okay. out to New York, cause oh, anywhere okay. I go, I tell people where check. I come say from. In there, <laughs> in there. What part of New York you from? Oh yeah, you from over there with Miguel yeah. and shit. <laughs> she look like, hey, she look like a queen's chick though. For real? What queen chicks look like? Like you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You good? Malfunction. Look, yeah. here you go. All right. So what Queens girls look like? Do I mean, they look like they, quiet and wholesome? Quiet, like, nice, Is that what I look like? Yeah. They look like city suburb chicks. That's good, I think. Yeah. It's like they a look. mixture between city and suburb. That's different than what the fuck the bitches look like where we from. You feel me? <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> we were the hood. Right. So top notch. Let me get to yeah. it. So when I was looking at your profile... I seen a couple of things, and what stood out to me was the get clout. No, got clout. Yes, TV. got clout. TV. So in my mind, I'm like, shit. When people do things for clout, you know, they do extra shit, make mm -hmm. themselves sometimes look stupid or mm -hmm. whatever. So do you give them the platform to make themselves look stupid, or do you just take the stupid shit that niggas do for clout and repost it? No. Period. So basically, what I do is nothing to do with the word clout. It's actually mm -hmm. a play on words. So the word clout actually means culture, love, and opportunity unites talent. Period. So say basically, that shit again and slow it down. That was a tongue twist. I ain't gonna front. Because <laughs> you gotta do it again. What happened? All right. So basically, clout means culture, love, and opportunity unites talent. Period. It's a play on words. Okay. So you get what you see. Okay. okay. If you want to see something that's, like you said, stupidness or whatever the case is, you'll see that. But if you want to meet people that actually have a real network like you, mm -hmm. like Miguel, you know what I'm saying? You'll meet that. Okay. But basically what Got Cloud is, is a media and production company. And I started it because my friend committed suicide. Oh, and after I'm I had so found, sorry to hear that. It's fine. And after I found out the news, I was just tired of everybody feeling like they were alone. And I wanted everybody mm. to understand, like, you're not alone. Everybody goes through problems. Everybody mm -hmm. has mental illness. Mm -hmm. And although we all come from the hood, even though you guys don't think I'm from the hood, I'm from the hood. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> So in my head, it's no, there's no help. And the reason why people turn to suicide is because they feel like they don't have anyone to mm -hmm. speak to. And the reality is everybody around you is doing something. Everybody around you can help you get somewhere. Everybody has a platform, but it's about getting out of the crab in a barrel mentality. Right. That's what God Cloud is about. That's what's up. Like, that's definitely, I'm over here thinking it's some ghetto ass shit. Nah, you know nothing ghetto saying? at all. Like, and that's definitely a positive, free, like, that's super, super dope. So how did you, like, what were the steps that you took into, like, actually creating it and putting it out there and marketing and, like, getting more people to, like, see and become a part of what you're doing? So um, I had, I travel a lot. I went to L.A. I was in L.A. for about a month. Um mm -hmm. I was at Tyler the Creator has a big festival out there. Shout out to Tyler because he's a great inspiration and His a dope person. His energy is always like on a thousand. Is he like that in real life? Yeah, like... I've met him, but I've never hung out with him like too long. Like okay. I've met him like briefly. Okay. So and in the times that I have met him and Jaden as well, like the way that they their energy is great energy. Mm. And while I was out there, I went to a couple of like music festivals, like um, Complex Con on them, a few of them. Mm. And but everything that I went to, I was like. New York has nothing like this. Like, mm -hmm. literally, there's nothing like this in New York. So why not create it? I know enough people. Mm -hmm. And I did. So I came back. I came back with a plan. Me and my friend was in the airport. And I told her, I was like, I want my own music festival. And she was like, what? do it. Like, yeah. No, she didn't even say what. She said, do, do it. it. Period. She was That's like, straight like that. She told me, she said, do it. And I said, all right. Two Period. months later, 
I literally had a radio station reach out to me. Um, I had artists come from Indianapolis, South Carolina, North Carolina. I had people send me clothes just so that they could display their clothes. Mind you, nothing at the event was sold. And wow. I had a vegan chef. Just I just wanted to do a test run to see how to people see how would, it was. yeah, to see how people would take it. And it actually was really, really successful. Period. I completely sold out of my venue. The second event, one hundred five point one, reached out to me. Yes, one hundred five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they had actually um sponsored my second event. And then the third event, I went back to working by myself because I love my people mm -hmm. and I love doing for them the way that I'm used to doing for them. And I know that I have their best interest at heart. Right. So for me, it's all about community. It's not about clout. Right. So I right. went back to that and leveled it up four times a year. Right. That was actually good. So you do it how many four times a year? Well, four times the size. I do it based on... I do it, well, because of the pandemic, I haven't been able to do it, but normally I do it three times a year. Okay. And what specifically do you have at the festival? Like, what are some things people can see? Yeah, okay, so you get to see artists perform. You get to see literally, what, like, whatever you want. I have a <laughs> chef come. <laughs> I kid y'all not, I have a chef come. Um, I speak to people about the importance of eating healthy, financial advisors, a &Rs, mm -hmm. if you need to tattoo artists, literally whatever creative thing you could think of. If you needed a graphic designer to help you with your next album, you need a producer for your next album, you need somebody so to So you anything. sound like you basically the plug. Basically. Like, so basically, <laughs> anything that y'all need done, y'all could, could follow her, and she could, she could make that happen. Basically. So out of ever since you've been doing the festivals like what has been like the most memorable or like the most satisfying moment because it's like that's like a project that you that's like a baby you yeah. know what i'm saying like that's something that was personal for you you chose to do it so mm -hmm. it's like what was your favorite you know your most favorite moment out of everything that you've done like my favorite moment with god clout was definitely the one year anniversary okay. i feel like the one year anniversary i was so afraid to do it my budget literally skyrocketed at the, the last second because wow. i had people canceling on me i had to like do last minute changes even mm -hmm. with my venue and the way that i pulled it together by myself i really was shook and the way that my friends actually came together to help me <laughs> as far as like assisting with the things that were necessary at the event mm -hmm. they really stood up and it showed me what the community and the word clout really meant to really me meant, right. you know so it really it just showed me that whatever i give i can get back 10 times over period mm -hmm. i like the way you think because the way <laughs> she think is just like People need to think like this. Really? Like, if more people thought like this, we could have some more shit going on. Way more, yeah. Like, and she got a point because every time when you think about music festivals, only thing I think about from New York is what? Summer Jam. That's it. Rock the Summer Bell. Jam gets shot we up got, every year, unfortunately. And it get, and it get rained on. Let's rain, talk rain about it. Every year, year that it fucking rains. That's every like, year. Mm -hmm. And then they shoot in. And then we got what? Rock the Bells. But then that's like for the grown, grown, you know, L O Cool J motherfucker type of crowd. Don't do too old because they be lit in that motherfucker. Yeah. Low. They do. <laughs> and then what they had, the powerhouse. But that's kind of new. And you it's know not what intimate. Saying? Like, so the thing is, that's another thing. Like, and we it's have all concerts. Music. Yeah, but it's we don't have. Else. We don't have anything that gives us mentorship nor guidance, mm -mm. you know. And then on mm -hmm. top they of that, people, that. <laughs> especially because of the pandemic now, I really feel like we have to get back into it because it's like people don't have that connection anymore. People are lacking the energy. They don't even know how to communicate properly. And then anymore. a lot of people, how it didn't phase a lot of us or it did phase off a lot of people lost lives, lost people, lost yes. jobs, lost homes. You know what I'm saying? So it really did affect a lot of people who now have nothing mm -hmm. and nobody to talk to. Just to get a doctor's appointment or therapy appointments is scheduled months out in advance. Like, shit is crazy. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So in the meantime, you got somebody who really going through some shit and... Yeah, so exactly. I'm definitely happy that we have somebody like you that's doing something and especially giving giving back. And then what I want to say is we always give back, but not for nothing. New York really need it. Like, I'm going to keep it all the way a buck with y'all. Like, I don't know too much about where all of y'all come from, but New York, excuse my language, got a bunch of crazy-ass motherfuckers yes, running around. Does. That's a fact. Like, real shit. And since COVID, they been going fucking crazy. Like, I'm telling you, I've crazy. seen the most... Like, shit is not really, like, regular killing anymore. Like, niggas are going to the extreme and the beyond with things. Like, mm -hmm. niggas is sick. <laughs> like, for real, right. for real. It's been some crazy-ass shit going on up there. So, I'm happy that you're somebody who's actually giving back to what we have going back on at home. Thank so, you. definitely kudos to you for that.
So when you say like being, and I see this with a lot of other people, and I never really knew what it was like. Mm -hmm. So when people say that they're a lifestyle consultant. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that means, because to me, like, consulting means, like, you helping me with an issue that I got. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Lifestyle, that could be either my life, the way I'm living, or the way I'm looking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... so it's definitely both of them. So, okay. as far as I go, basically, the artists that I've worked with in the past, what I do is basically image consulting is what... It would be the textbook style, but for me, it's deeper than that, because it isn't just your image. I'm not just working with you when you have an interview, or when you have press days, or just for those days, that's not my job. I care about you. If I decide to work with you as a client, I'm going to actually take my time and make sure that you're well-rounded, down to your food, down to what you're putting in your mind, what you're putting in your body literally matters. So as an artist, you can't produce to your top ability if you aren't mm, at your best. Best. That's true. So I just feel like when people consider my job just branding, branding is for someone that doesn't care about you. Because they just there for the brand. Exactly. And for me, I'm here for your lifestyle. Mm. So that's the that's the biggest concern for me. So mm. I, I decided to change the word. I definitely like that. And I, I, I definitely, I see the fact that, you know, a lot of people when they doing music or they got artists, all they care about is just the music. Mm -hmm. right. They just want you in the studio, make the music, get to it, get to it. Make sure you look together, get some sleep right now. Make sure you good. We don't got time for this. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like a one track mind. You really see people who's really going to take the whole person like to give a fuck about what you eat let me tell you i don't even give a fuck about what i eat half right. the time. so for somebody else to give a fuck about what and i most eat most people like, don't most you know what i'm saying so definitely i think you're like a cool individual but that, that's why a lot so of this artists is why she's from queen that's right like, that's why right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like for a, real like y'all you really there's you a lot nice of artists though. like Thank you know you. what i'm saying there's a lot that's of dope. artists that go through a lot of things because they don't have people like that mm -hmm. and like you said when they only care about the music what's happening now is you ain't give a fuck about the artist they deteriorate Mm -hmm. Why they On doing the this inside, music? Why they doing right? It. And then you have motherfuckers who explode, and you don't understand mm -hmm. why they did what they That's did. That's when they start popping pills. And Juice World is a perfect show. example of that. Cope. You know, Juice World is a perfect example of mm -hmm. having just not having the right people around you. You know, right. I feel like it's a great example, regardless of the situation that he was in or how it has come to be. Unfortunately, but. Mm -hmm. Him having a better group of people around him, the depression that he's been struggling with, he has been vocal about for years. Mm -hmm. Whether it be in his music and as a fan, I feel like as a fan, I, I can see it. So if you care about him as a friend, how could you not have seen that right. or understood that he was going through a depression, you know? And I feel the same way about Mac Miller. And I know plenty of people in his corner have tried multiple mm -hmm. times. You can't save everybody, but mm -hmm. at least people are trying. And right. that's what matters. Right. Yep, that's you know? definitely, definitely dope. So where do you see yourself in 2022 with Got Clout TV and with the artists and, you know, more festivals coming up, hopefully? Yes. Because so. I want to go. <laughs> right, let me know. Yeah, so um, right now I'm actually working on the expansion of Got Clout. So I'm planning to do a festival in Atlanta. I'm looking for sponsorship for that in the like at the moment and okay. i actually just signed my first podcast to got clout tv yes. so, yes. so what you gonna be talking about one there? yeah so i won't be talking but i will have oh. a, a group of girls um and the podcast is called honestly though so shout out to honestly though and okay. um so is it gonna be like some really honestly shit though yes um so you guys can catch them at honestly though <laughs> podcast okay. Ooh, uh, on on Instagram, that. and okay. they're actually they talk about a bunch of different things, and they're just gonna start incorporating the music behind it. And mm -hmm. we've just figured out a deal that makes sense for both of us, and it now we're in this. Ow, she so getting to it. They will definitely be the first people that will have a actual show on God Cloud TV. So it won't just be God Cloud TV. Now right. it'll be God Cloud TV presents honestly though honestly podcast. Honestly though, right? Yeah, that's what's up. Well, definitely. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Please let the people know where they can find you, your Instagram or your handles and stuff, and then you can slide on over so <laughs> I can bring up my next guest, please. Okay, you guys can catch me at God Cloud dot TV. G O T C L O U T dot T V. <laughs> and you can also catch me at T O P N O T C H T A Y L O R. Top notch Tila. Yeah. Thank you, girl, for coming. Thank you so much for having Come me. Come on still. and slide over because you know we got this tea time later. And now, you know, I may shake some feathers in here. I don't know. But I want you to come sit right here. Can't wait. Here he go. He 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 definitely can never wait. I love tea time. That's my favorite time. Mm -hmm. Just make sure y'all ready for today.
I just step in real quick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you Taylor for stopping by representing Queens. Um, definitely want to give a shout Q out to to one of our sponsors, VS1 ATL, Yay. our very own. Want to make sure he gets a shout out. The premier Atlanta-based studio. Get treated like a star. Get your portfolio shoot done today. DM him. Mm -hmm. uh, mention the promo code Skittles, and we got a special yeah. package for you. Um, coming up next is going to be Gabe Lussman, the international R&B independent. Independent. Independent singing. guy. Yes, Man. sir. Yes, sir. We got to bring him up. Gabe, come on up. Yes. I can't wait till I do my photo shoot. We're going to be lit. I can't wait till y'all see. Ew, it's going to be so cute. Yes. All right. Sunglasses at night. Make sure you don't scoot back too, too far. Because sometimes that thing, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? You can hear us. I think I can hear you. All right. All right. Oh, he trying to get the panties off early. I Let me sure you gotta get to it. That. I like that. All right, all right, all right. I thought right. I was in the studio for a second. All right now, you got the shades on. He in, he in the moment. Where's my right chaotic now? eyeball? <laughs> He's like right here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, thank you definitely, Gabe. Please let the people know where you from. I was born in New Orleans, Jefferson Parish, um, but I was raised in Minneapolis, and I've been in Atlanta, um, Candler Road, for about um, ten years now. Wow. This is a magical city, man. I got so much love for Atlanta. That's this is, this is where This is where I realize a lot of my dreams. I've been mm. so blessed to be here, man. Well, thank you for coming, and I'm happy that you've been living your dreams since you've been out here. Because let me tell you, Atlanta, Atlanta can really change people's lives and make people, you know, do better, become better. It's so many more opportunities here. Like everybody growing up, we used to be like, oh, get up, go to LA, go to LA, go to LA. Right. No, that's where they use you, take your money, rob you, and kick you to the streets. Atlanta, Atlanta really show love to people from all walks of life. Like I see all type of motherfuckers. Out here like and i'm like damn everybody is really doing better here than what the fuck they was doing somewhere else so definitely i'm happy that you here and you doing what you got to do but what i want to know is where did the international singing come into play because what you telling me new orleans and all of these places i'm like wait that's down south that's mm -hmm. country gotcha. and then he got atlanta uh -huh. and then what was the other one you said where, where, um from new orleans to where Minneapolis. Minneapolis. So Prince then, Time, Morris Day Atmosphere, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's some big dogs. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. was that's what got you Sounds into Sounds of Blackness, my bad. No, you Forget. good. So that was that's what yeah, got that's you it. into the international mood or No, nah, what really got me into the international mood is um I always knew, um, you know, I watched Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, in, in Flight Time in Minneapolis and stuff. That's where I started my music and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was I was actually signed to a KG from Naughty by Nature. Okay. Um, you know, when I started, you know, and we was doing some stuff with uh, Divine Mill in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we had, you know, Next, act, the group Next. Yes. Um, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Tweet and uh, RL and stuff. They were actually from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know. They, they was trying to make like a white version of Next. I hate to talk about the group because no, I think them guys work at a thrift shop or work for their dads or, or something. No, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But um, anyhow, um, you know, I came to Atlanta in, in 2011 and I came down here. Um, I lost my dad. He passed away and sorry stuff like that. that. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. But, um, you know, I came down to Atlanta because um, it was already written. Um, you know, I, I really love the culture of Atlanta um, mm. from old Atlanta because when I was a kid, I used to remember watching the movements. Atlanta is like what starts all the shit in, it, in the whole United States that everybody copies. Mm. Like, you know, the dance movements, the, they start movements, they start trends, and, and everybody copies Atlanta. And then in Minnesota or Iowa or you know, Montana, everybody gets it last, just like the radio. So you put a mm. song out in Atlanta, K Camp, Money Baby, which my manager juice actually recorded and chopped the beats with fruit and stuff like that song went platinum here and then people i was like you heard of this dude it was like 
Who no, is that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Even mm-hmm. though even though Kick Cam is from Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's so, definitely true because even I've been here six years. And right. even being here and then going back home to New York, y'all, it'd be crazy because the shit they be playing, I'd be like, um, DJ, um, you wanna play this song? Like, oh, they don't I'm have saying, that. You go to they Michigan, gotta go they gonna they gonna be playing, they, they gonna be and playing. And I'll be like, damn, like, so we the only <laughs> yeah. people that hear the shit that we yes, be hearing. We like, cause yes, we, we be in the club lit from the time we get there to the time we leave. Like, like, so I definitely understand what you say about that for real. Yeah, Atlanta was a no brainer for me though because um, you know, a lot of people think I'm white. I'm actually Latin, um, Honduras and Spain. You know what I'm saying? But uh, mm. um, you know, I went to LA on the MTV show that I made with that group when we was with KG and stuff like that. Mm. Um, it was a humbug on a MySpace whatever right right and um we went out there and it's a whole story i'm not gonna get into it's a whole nother interview but you know what <laughs> I'm saying? It, was, cool. it was crazy you know i, I had so many pinch yourself moments it's crazy for real right but um you know i realized that and i seen all the people that was trying to do it and be perfect and stuff and i was like you know what i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna sing better than some of these brothers and i'm, mm. gonna, have, I'm gonna learn what soul is i'm gonna learn mm. how to like speak to people's spirit i'm gonna learn how to pull them heartstrings it's not Theory. about you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. that's what i've been studying and like you said earlier in the interview with this this beautiful beautiful woman <laughs> you know what i'm saying Theory. you know i'll talk to y'all you know what i'm saying okay, right. okay. Like, I, I wrote a song about y'all this you know what I'm like, 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 okay <laughs> But I'm saying, but I'm saying, I came to Atlanta for a reason, man. And um, it's, it's, you know, what I'm saying, like, um, I'm here to. Um, this, this is a magical city, and I got very blessed because I came here in 2010, 2011. And in the condensed version, this is your interview, so I'm gonna be quiet. But, um, you know, this is when the film industry started booming and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And in 2011, and they started doing the tax credit for like the movies and stuff. And I, I got, I started as an extra with um, Heather Hilton, with um, Jamie Lynn and Katret Casting and mm. all these guys and Tyler Perry. And I got I was an extra and I just went in there and I, I finessed my way in there as an actor. And I don't have no acting experience. I'm just a singer, but you have to right. be, mul- you know, I got opportunities to be on like Blind Date, like little stupid Ain't stuff, like, you know multi- what I'm saying? Like Carbonero multi- Effect right. commercials and got my name out there. I met Shaka Zulu. I, I don't met, wow. you know, some some real Still. big dogs, you know what I'm saying? Big so, dogs, right. And I got very blessed because it's, you never know where where your where your blessing going to lie. Like one door mm-hmm. right here can you don't think this is going to lead you there, but you're going to get there just mm-hmm. because you you don't you, you know put what I'm in that work in. And Ma- I like Atlanta is a people, magical place. And like and I, I tell it people, Period. it's so many opportunities for people to do stuff out here that you can actually do two, three, four, five different things. And as long as you're able to handle all of it, you can actually do all of those things at one time. You understand what I'm saying? Other places, it's like you got to do one thing at a time because it's like pulling fucking teeth to make shit happen. You understand? I think it's about the mentality because the first thing I noticed about Atlanta when I came here, uh, I remember pumping gas um, on uh, at the West End um, next to the mall. Mm-hmm. There's a Taco Bell there, and there's a gas station right there across the, in the Popeyes right there. Uh-huh. And um, the first time I came to Atlanta, and that's the first gas station I ever went to in Atlanta. And um, it was 10 years ago, and, and a man came up, and he had a pail, and, and he said, yo, let me let me wipe your windshield. And, and we were like, we're good. He said, bro, anything's a blessing. But mm-hmm. he was willing to work for it. He got the hustle. Mm-hmm. Back in Minneapolis, they just come up to you and be like, yo, you got something for me. Right. Atlanta uh-huh. is a city of a hustle, and that's mm-hmm. what it taught me. And I said, man, like, I love the hustle. And people in Atlanta, they, they want to see people do better, and they support someone trying to do better for themselves. Mm-hmm. And, it, and that's what I love about the city. And it ain't no that's city like this. definitely a good way to ain't put nothing it. like it. Mm-hmm. And that's why, man, it's crazy. Right. So, yeah. so let's talk about the album Aries, because that's what's new, right? Right. And that's what you've been working on. So how has that project been for you? Um, honestly, um, it's been okay. Um, you know, that's just a project I did during COVID just to keep my, um, you know, the grease on, you know, you know, on the part. You know, I, was, I was trying to make, make sure I stay fresh. Okay. And, um, you know. I just try to do something and, and, and just like keep my sound fresh and try out new producers. And it was kind of like something I wanted to do for a while. And I usually had like somebody helping me out with my projects and mm-hmm. giving me like the ideas and picking out my producer. That's the first album I did in my career by myself. Mixed it, mastered yes, it, picked out up. the producer, wrote it, um, engineered it. Wow. Um, I, 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 I birthed that album. You did that whole album. Yeah. And um, but the thing is, right now it's like it's not about albums. Right now, it's you have to know about the times. Right now, it's a um, it's a single world. Mm. It's not albums, EPs. The the attention span of somebody 
uh, of a listener or consumer is not more than like a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why Instagram is a minute. TikToks mm -hmm. are 30 seconds. So, mm -hmm. you know, right now it's like, it's about singles. So right now I'm just focused on singles. I'm pushing true. I'm pushing meet up. I sent you those. Yes. Um, and when I started focusing more on one song and campaigning and understanding how to market more than, more than just being an artist mm -hmm. and understanding the music business, mm -hmm. that's when I had more um, opportunities like Revolt TV and, you know, commercials and license, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, well, I'm definitely happy because yeah. for you, because to be able to sit there and put a whole album together, right. do the music, write the beats, come up with it, mix it, master it, produce it. That's a, that's a lot. You understand what I'm really saying? Is. Some people just know how to go in the booth and say what the fuck they got to say. Bless right. you, baby. You understand what I'm saying? So I definitely want to take my hat off to you for that. And what I want you to do is which one we going to do first? Are we going to do one or are we going to do two? Which one out of the two? Because we got another two art oh, people we could, coming Yeah, we're going to go with true first. You want to do true? We can do true. All right, so go ahead. You want to pull it up and let him I already introduce? got it. That's All right, so go true. ahead and introduce your single true. All right, this 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 is your boy Gabe Lesman. This song is called True. You might have seen me perform it on Revolt TV, on the Revolt Summit. Be here competition. Shout out to Neo. Shout out to Diddy. Andre Harrell, rest in peace. And... um. Number two in Norway on iTunes charts. This is my song. True. All right. Because you got a new man, I hope it isn't true. Get into the money, see the stars and the roof. Tired all these bitches, I just wish in there with you. I know it sounds crazy, but I tell you that it's true. Girl, it's true. Girl, it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Only thing real to me. VVS is dancing on my chain. In a world that everybody fake. You won't catch me hanging with no lanes. Just want some space and then they chase you down. They wanna post a pic. They wanna love you now. When times get hard. Nowhere to be found Like a ghost town I heard you got a new man I hope it isn't true Instead of money See the stars and the roof Tired all these bitches I just wish in there with you I know it sounds crazy Gotta tell you that it's true Girl, it's true ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl, it's true Get instead of money See the stars and the roof Tired all these bitches, I just wish I lay with you. I know it sounds crazy, gotta tell you that it's true. Girl, it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl, it's true. Ooh, Fucking say, let me tell you something. You better sing. See, we need we need music like that, like the R and B music, like that to come back. Cause it's like all the music we got right now is like fuck that bitch, take that bitch, choke that bitch, damn. Like that's that's what we really got. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to bring the Casey and the um Joe to see and the JoJo's and the Drew Hills and shit. We need we need y'all to come back. So definitely, I enjoyed that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, what? Before we get up out of here, let us know what do you have coming up in the twenty twenty two? Because now Aries is out. So now what? Right now, I, um, I got another single. Um, right now, I just did with um, some folks over at QC that I'm working with and stuff like that. Shout out mm. to Dot Com, Rod, a, um, ATM Beast. I'm gonna give you a little sample of the hook. It go like this. Don't give it away to no one else, cause I want you to myself. You know, good things take time, but I'll wait just to make you mine. Ooh, baby, I'm selfish and I can't help it. Ooh, you know what I want, you got my attention. So we got a little yes. skate song coming through. Right. So, you know, um, I'm working on the video for that right now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting some new billboards up in Atlanta. I'm trying to wrap some MARTA buses and... 
Okay. Just really, you know, just show them like, man, ain't no, ain't nobody helping me doing this. Right, you, you know doing what I'm, it. I'm right. just trying to, you know, that's what you gotta do sometimes. Right, 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 right. I do more than eat tacos, you know. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> All right, well, definitely before we get out of here, let the people know where they can find you at. What's your Instagram? All right, everybody, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Spotify, SoundCloud. Tell your mama, tell your auntie, tell your girlfriend, tell your boyfriend, tell your ex. You know, <laughs> right. you can use me to get back in. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever you need to do. <laughs> um, right. You know, backslash Gabe Lussman, G-A-B-E-L-U-S-T-M-A-N. Um, right now, I'm pushing the single True. You saw it on Revolt TV. You saw that Neo introduced me on there. I liked it. Um, also, got Meet Up. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just working right now. So just... You know, keep looking for me because I'm going to be in the conversation. And um, shout out to all the independent artists out here trying to do their thing in Atlanta. And thank you to everybody in Atlanta um, supporting the people on the come up and not being haters, man. Right. Atlanta is a city of love. And I appreciate that so much, man, because, yep. you know, they could do anything. And it's, it's nothing but love out here. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess if I suck, it would probably be different. But, <laughs> you know, but it's, it's, they've been, I've been getting nothing but love. So I'll just keep doing that. Hopefully right. it's going to change. So right. thank you for having me. No, on thank that you black for ink. coming. You know, thank I, I got to touch you. up some. Um, I got to go. I got a tattoo appointment in the next room. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I put it on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I put five dollars down. <laughs> I got my bucks. Oh, we take all that. We lay all money in, baby. <laughs> Don't cash the check till Monday. All right. All right, I'm Monday. <laughs> well, definitely. Thank you for coming. Please, I need to bring my next guest up here, Mister Mister Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Yeah. See, I don't got them type of them vocals that he got. You know. I don't yeah, we got gonna, none we gonna, of that. We're going to leave that to him. Yeah, I'm going to let him do that. Yeah. I sound good, though, in the shower. Y'all should hear me. I mean, uh, the, the acoustics, you know what I'm saying? The shower make your nigga sound Crazy. amazing. Like, for real, for real. Y'all don't even know. You all right over there, Cheeks? You coming up next. You ready? But well, we got Juwan Jones. He's yes. in the room. But before we do, we want to give another shout out to our sponsors. Ooh, yes. Ooh, Drinks and Ooh, Juices. He is yes. on the way. Let me tell yes. you, he got some good ass shit. Absolutely. He got that ginger. He got the B12. He Hi. got all of that stuff. Make sure you hit him up, please. Hi. Yep. And you can follow him, Uwe Drinks, on IG. And you can also order OweDrinks.com. <laughs> Not for nothing. We thank you for, for coming out every single episode uh -huh. and, you know, supporting us. One of our other sponsors that we do have. Next up, we have Juwan Jones. He's going to be coming up here to actor, comedian, comedian. producer. The whole nine, all the way from Vine to what he's doing now. He's having Vine. a. Vine. Do yep. you guys remember Vine? Vine. And oh then he my also God. has another. Yep. You he know? has another class that he's going to be rolling out, I, I think, on Friday. Mm -hmm. He's going to talk about that. Okay. He's going to be next up. So Mr. Jones got some stuff to talk about. That's what he got. Yep. Yeah, you can stay here if you want. Yeah, you, you can, can stay here if you want. It don't matter. <laughs> You can stay right next to me, baby. She look confused. She don't know what to do. That's that queen shit. Mm -hmm. That's that queen it's shit. Just there. You know, they get nervous and it's they like, just like, sit like, there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, I know I'm supposed to do it. There's too much no, niggas around. Right, you, cool. you want me to you want me to get on the mic? Sir, <laughs> relax, sir, okay? Yeah, like, relax. Not, it was the shoulders. Like, all right, calm down. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. So, Mr., 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 come on now. You got to. You, first of all, it's the wrong way. Spin it back. Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks backwards. I Kind of set up, yeah, I got on here, <laughs> <laughs> Mister. Please tell me. Don't be on my mics, man. Hey, man, I don't that even know where that came that from. Was... Okay, I was like, hey, <laughs> I don't know it sounded came from my right, and then you on my left. <laughs> and I looked at him, he's like, "Well, I ain't seen nothing." Better. <laughs> I had nothing to do with please that. Please tell the people where you from. I'm from the DMV, Maryland, Prince oh. George's County. Okay, he said Thank that very strong. You. Thank you. Very strong. Represent. Said that with his chest. Right. Yes. Miss Queens, take a motherfucking note. I was about to say, I got to come a little harder yeah, next time. Yeah, because yeah, right, I got y'all. He outdid you on that yeah. one. Like, gotcha. yeah. Maybe yeah. Tyler's from Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> You're like, Brooklyn. Right. So, first of all, I was going through your Instagram. You hilarious as shit to me. Oh, thank you, Queen. For real, for real. Like, I be watching. First of all, y'all be doing them skits, right? Mm hmm. Do y'all just sit there? Because I be, like, having to think about shit when it comes to this the show. So, like, I really put thought, you know what I'm saying, into stuff as we get better. Like, it's, you know, with a lot of things. Yeah. And it's like, how the hell do you sit there and come up with a whole skit, 
how, who do you get the how you gonna pick who gonna be in it mm-hmm. like and it should be looking real sometimes like you know how sometimes when you watch a skit and you be like nah that look like they could have like they did that yeah. like no like sometimes like y'all really be like lit in y'all fucking skits like so what got you into doing that well uh, uh, first i started off as an actor um and comedian before social media um mm-hmm. came about so i was already pursuing that and i live in la so it's not really that hard to find actors that really do what they they do um but as far as coming up with ideas i choose a lot of life situations mm. so i don't really i man, i didn't like i like a thousand videos and i probably the first three four years i never had a writing session mm. um these ideas would just come from life and you know be walking throughout the weekend boom i stubbed my toe and it was like, oh maybe that could be a video and then right. I, <laughs> so i just note it down right. just a moment and then i'll go back to all the stuff throughout the you know week look at those um, ideas and see how I can expound upon them and make them a full sketch you know so it wasn't really hard life has a lot of stuff it definitely is so like when you say that you were already doing acting and stuff like that when did you come into the acting world man I got my first man I started acting about 17 Um, how do you know because they we not we not supposed to ask the female about her age. Undecided. You undecided. Undecided. No, I knew, I knew that's what I heard. <laughs> Been in the game for a while. Undecided. Undecided, undecided. undecided on what? Undecided on, on what? You know. On, this, on Friday, Saturday, oh, and Sunday. I'm 22. Oh, I'm 22. Oh, wait, I'm 22. We, we, hey, Skittles. That's just AJ. We might have, like, we might have a question but, for him. He said you undecided. You know what I'm saying? Oh, whoa, 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 what, what kind of undecided are you thinking? <laughs> Shit. Hold on now. Wait one, a minute. There's only one type of undecided that come with oh, people. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we talking about age. We ain't talking about nothing else. <laughs> All right. Okay. Be specific on we this one. We fully decided. <laughs> we fully decided on what I think you think. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, he's talking about what I think you're thinking. <laughs> so you said you've been doing. My first speaking role was on The Wire, though. Ooh. That was my first speaking role. I was uh, 19. Okay. Was and fine. how was that? Um, Beautiful. Was you nervous? I wasn't nervous. It it, it 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 was a moment where you know you you figure out, you realize that you're in a big league. You know, it was right. my first time being on like a big time production. And I remember we uh were shooting. It was like a half a circle. Um, so I was talking to Marlo. Um, I was in the scene with him. It was the first episode. If you guys want to look at it. second season, first third season, first episode. Okay. Talking to him and shooting like a half circle. So I'm t- looking at him, and the camera crew mm-hmm. is like right on us to my left of me. It's about man. Like a hundred white people with equipment, <laughs> right. looking like, like boy, you better not mess and waste that's our money, boy. Inside. With lights, with lights. Right. Um, and that's when it was a moment like, oh wow, this is I'm in the big leagues right now, you know. And that was my first speaking role that got me qualified for the union. Um, for those you don't know, you need to be in the union to actually be considered like a professional. A professional actor. actor, yeah. That's that sag shit, right? Yeah, yeah that's that. Yeah, mom, yeah, yeah. My mom does that that shit. Yeah, so I got that, and that's what you know got me to be able to move to. Oh uh, well, what I wanted to do to have before I moved to um, California. Mm. So and then the rest was history from there. So have you had any like what was like your biggest role to you? <sighs> Man, there's so many. Um, well, as of right now, my biggest role uh, is my movie I produced by myself. Yeah, in Star. You know, I, was, I was trying to hold it, but yeah, like of course yeah, yeah. we want to talk about it. So let's just talk saying, about it, sir. You, you gotta hold. You put me in position. Put it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, put me oh, in baby. You gotta watch how you talk. Hey, listen, listen, words listen, up listen, here. Hey, watch yourself like, now. This is a grown ass It show. is what it is, oh, right, fam. See, see, don't do that. Like, it bro. is <laughs> what it is. <laughs> right. Cause um, a woman putting a man in position, I don't know. <laughs> you got to go back to undecided. <laughs> <laughs> so he always flip it that way. I'm gonna get you. You mess with a comedian. I'm gonna get you. I know. I, hey, I'm gonna get you. I, I like playing with fire. Hey, hey. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm no, good. Don't, um, do <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. We're gonna get C Lo with the hair. We're gonna get him. Uh, uh, C Lo with the hair. Um. So my first, my role <laughs> I'm happy about is you married that. Mm-hmm. It's um starring myself, uh, Audrey Kincaid, April Jones. We got Lisa Ray in there. Uh, Michael Cole, your Red Grant. Oh, I love her. Big Jaw to Shea Frost. Uh, you know, G Wayne has uh, so many, so many people in there. Period. And um, we just got accepted to this big festival called the ABFF, being in uh, Miami in mm. June. That's fine. And, and you know, it's a big festival. And once That's you know, we got nominated fine. for a few awards. Uh, All right. So, uh, you You're know, doing the damn thing. All yeah. right. We're getting ready to get the because Netflix will be out there. It's actually hosted by Netflix and HBO oh. and Sony. So, you know, this is a good position for us to be in there, showcase it, get it sold. And next, you know, you might see it on BT Plus or HBO. <laughs> we or will. We're going to speak that. We're going to sell it. We're going right. to sell it. It's Regardless. a great movie. 
I'm not. So what I want to know is how did you come into like saying, you know, I'm gonna just go from doing the skits and the comedy and doing movies and stuff, and I'm gonna just do my own goddamn movie because people will be like, oh, I'm gonna do my own movie, and then realize budget, camera, paying people, you know what I'm saying, location, time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You get them all. You, you, got, you, you must got, have shot a movie before. You got some you money. Yeah. That's what that I means. was literally thinking the same thing. You got some other shit. I wasn't going to hold it. Hey, they you. looking over at Hey, CeeLo. They looking at me. No. <laughs> CeeLo. Niggas <laughs> say he got money in all his teeth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah. Come on well, now. Man, so, I've been, yeah, I've been around. I've been around collecting some checks for a while. You know what I'm saying? Nah, um, but uh, it does cost a lot. It just costs a lot. Um, shooting this, like the content on YouTube can cost a pretty penny, but nothing compared to what it is to create a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I realized that shooting this movie because mm-hmm. I said, you know, we're going to raise some money. We're going to raise $20,000 and we're going to shoot this movie because if I can shoot the show on YouTube that y'all love for peanuts, surely I can get it done for 20000 Huh? Man, that 20000 was gone the first week of production. Um, we raised 30000 on on um, Indiegogo for okay. the movie. Um, but, yeah, we definitely... You How know, did you raise this twenty thousand? Like, what it's a, it's a it um, website called. I may need to raise some money for some shit too. It's a website called Indiegogo where you basically um, can reach out to your family, friends, or fans, and and campaign oh, for about thirty days. And friends and shit. I ain't, I ain't well, you might got you know them. you're a beautiful woman. You might have some yeah, people that, that want to. Yeah, when you said family and friends, that shit wasn't happening. Well, I know you got some fans. Shit. I know she got some fans. Now we may do that. Yeah, and they, they'll be willing to pay for your yeah, dreams. They call only fans. Shut up. It was a setup for real. I caught the alley oop. Yeah, you yeah got it. I know. I see. Okay. Slammed up. Right. Uh, so now that you you done the movie, how long has the movie been out? Because we actually were supposed to be at oh, yeah. the movie premiere. I heard about that. Uh, what happened? So what happened? I wasn't able to come. Mm, shade. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Wow. We could, we could. You want to do it all over again? I'm near. Okay. It was not my fault. It was okay. very unfortunate. I love to be able to put on a nice dress and step the fuck out. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure not going to turn down a reason to get dressed. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it was very, very serious. I couldn't go. We're going to do it again in DC next month. So you want to come out to DC? I'll come to do, wait, DC crazy. Wait, what part crazy? Of DC? Red Bone. Come on. We love Red Bones oh, over there. Come shit. on. I got bring I can bring my gun. What, what oh, DC? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, Red Bone with a gun. Yeah, yeah I, yes, man, listen, I ain't going nobody else hood <laughs> without my shit. Y'all well. Mm-mm. I'm from New York. You from DC, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. I ain't going nowhere without my pistol. Yes, well, definitely for but, movie premiere, for sure. Yes. So <laughs> we got connected from another group and they sent us tickets. Mm-hmm. I wasn't able to go because I believe she had a um, she had a um, event she was going to. I did as okay. well. And then um, what I did is I sent uh, So Candy. She Who did go? Oh yeah. Thank you. And then you for she that. brought um, Nico. Nico London. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I did see Nico. Yep. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Shout out to you and your so team. So see, we still, we still, Y'all made we it still, up. we yeah. still. Yeah, we hey. weren't, weren't able to go, <laughs> but. We Sorry. made sure we you see how produ- you know partner producer he, came he on can, in to yeah, save the day, that, like yeah. oh yeah. Because so. I was just gonna stick with the regular my bad, like I, you know I got. Like, like guys, we did more than my bad. Uh, we actually brought people yeah. in replacement <laughs> Thank for you. Thank you for the save, <laughs> right? We still threw you a nice alley oop. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. It's hilarious. No, it was it was a nice premiere. Um, it's been um out for a couple months. You know, low key for the fans. Um, but we took it back off because we had to be in the festival mm. and we have to actually now be in the market now. So we can't just really be selling it like in the black market as, as right. you know, so, but trust y'all hearing it first. Mm. It's about to be some major things with you married at the movie okay. coming up very, very soon, especially when it hits that when it's, everybody sees it. And when is this festival? Again? When June, is the festival? June 15th is when it starts. Okay. History will it? be made in Miami yeah. that week. <laughs> That's right, see low. That's right. I'm saying yeah, like my guy. Miami, June. Miami, June. Oh, you want to come out there? You want to come out there? What's the date the again? June, uh, June 15th. 15th to the 19th. Oh, I'll be coming I back. I'll be, I'll be coming back from LA on the 12th. I could, I could do that. Okay. Like I said, it's gonna be a celebration. Hey, let's go. It's gonna be a celebration. You know, Black Ink, we be the fuck outside. Okay, let me tell you, we be spinning the black and spinning the blocks. Okay, so. Now that you done did one movie, yeah. So now you know. Kudos to you. You did your shit. You kudos. spent your coins and stuff like that. Did you see any of your money come back? No, nah, yeah, we got to sell a movie. I mean, we, we saw a, a nice amount selling it online. Yes, okay. but you know, <laughs> movie costs a lot more than 
What it's okay. the money? It's, it's okay. the money. My producer partner is just on the phone. So with. now, so now that you've done that movie, mm-hmm. what 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 you gonna do next? We got more movies coming. When more you movies. say we, does that mean you have more movies as far as producing them, Me, writing them? My and- team. Um, we have a movie that we actually been waiting to do called The Juice. It's about Jerry curls. Um, it's a comedy. Yeah, that's a classic. He laughed just off the title, just off the concept. Um, All I keep thinking about is seats and the the car seats and the oh, couches. Yeah, 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 mad yeah. like yeah, y'all want to see so Juicy Larry? Low. Y'all want to see Juicy Larry? Let me see what. I keep him on my phone to remind I me. No, that is not. Every day I have to get reminded by Juicy Larry. And it's eleven eleven. So mm-hmm. talk about ooh, it. Yeah. Ooh, that we got to finish this movie. Yeah, we have to finish. Talk it. about it. And it's happening. Yeah, you look nah, like you Rick really James had, in that I was shit, about bro. to say, so was yeah. that a wig? Because you really look like a soul Nah, he a got the hair. Glow. He curled that shit. You got, that was definitely the soul glow. The soul glow. That's what he's doing his so, off time. He should be looking just like that. Hilarious. No, nah, it, was, it was definitely a great wig. It was a great wig. Um, Did, uh, for real? Yeah. And it's going to be a whole bunch of jerry curls in this movie. You're going to be... <laughs> you're going to see... No, it's going, we're going to have to hit... I'm, my goal is to bring back jerry curls for a week. I want to see all the rappers wearing it. I want to see the kids going they're gonna, around. They're going to do it on the West Coast, I'm telling you. <laughs> I want to bring they it back. They're going to do it on the West Coast. Now, let me ask you a question. And this is just an idea. I don't know if you thought about it, but if you did, oh, well, I, I'm doing it. Um, yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> yep, you should have everybody that comes to the premiere of that movie. Have to wear that motherfucker. Has to have a jury. That's girl. the plan. I want it to be like yeah, that uh, plan. Black yeah, Panther. That, that was not his plan. That was, I did. I, said I did. That. You just, you I mean, just agreed I mean, with I'm it. saying, how would you <laughs> have everybody trending for a week if you didn't? That's. Remember, so that's remember okay. everybody's wearing movie. dashikis for uh, Black Panther? Mm-hmm. That's what I want people to be doing for the juice. So he gonna set a Show turn. up and juice, juice fat. He going to make all the Soul Glow and all of the hair products fly They're going to get show. money, yeah. S-Curl, all that Swear shit. Swear to God. Think about it. Have you, like, every time you hear about the Jerry Curl, it makes you laugh. And it's very memorable, correct? Right. I'm telling you, this movie is going to be a hit. That's a it is a We're going to have to wear stuff underneath because this is going to get my outfit messed up. Like, I got a proof of concept on it, too, like, on, on, on online already. So if you look up the juice connected to Jahan, you'll see the proof of concept of it. And it's... It's hilarious. Mm. Yeah. So out of doing the movies and still doing the skits and all of that stuff, are you doing are any other movies like as far as regular work or are you only focusing on stuff that you're doing? No, I do it all. I do it all. Um, you know, still I just did an audition for an HBO show before here. Um, so yeah. I, you wanna I, tell me what the show was? I can't well, I don't want jinx you. All right, so but you know I'm a book I'm a book it though. Watch. Oh, okay. Watch. You'll see me on there. All right. So just make sure you tell me when you got it. So. I'll call you directly. Oh, Red Bone. Ooh. 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 She ain't ready for this heat. I don't, know, I don't know who you been interviewing, Spicy. but you got Jones in the building. You got to keep up with the Jones, baby. <laughs> this Understand it. It's fucking hilarious. Then you, you, it's too hot in the kitchen. Get out. Who kitchen we right. in? Not Zaza. that kitchen. Ain't that a New York artist? Zaza. No. Oh, my God. He's not from New York. I sound like from there. Zaza. <laughs> I can't oh, shit. Him. <laughs> That's not a rapper. Don't he always say Zaza? Who's that rapper that says that? I don't know, but Zaza is what people smoke. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You smoke That's weed? Definitely. Do you I'm smoking right here? I don't yeah. smoke weed. So is that you what I'm smoking? Smoke right? Is that a Zaza? Right <laughs> is that a Zaza? <laughs> he sound like he ain't never been in New York. <laughs> Well, as close as he is to me, I'm about to get high. He got that Zaza in my face right now. (laughs) Don't go to New York saying that shit like that. He just sitting there smoking. He's sitting there. He blowing right at me, too. Like, he trying to get me high. He could be blowing that way. He (laughs) there. <laughs> okay, the crazy part is I really am blowing that way. He's just flying right at me. This nigga is good. That's because the high. smoke has seen that you are you have virgin lungs, hey, so it's man. trying to. I live in L.A., so I can't get around it anyway. This is the state of that's the state of smoking. You so know. you don't live out here. No, you sound sad about that, baby. I'm sorry. Ooh. First of all, I'm not sad. I catch flights. Okay. Oh. okay. Oh. What the fuck you talking about? Right. Not it's spicy. Mm-hmm. Okay, Delta. Flights. Mm-hmm. Okay. Delta is spirit. What you gonna do? American baby? Airlines. Um, Come on Blue. through, baby. Come on through, ready. Yeah. Here you Your go. new ready. nickname is Ready. <laughs> call you Ready. <laughs> Little Ready Bone. Baby, I'm ready. <laughs> so, what else outside of? The comedy world, the acting, just you in general. What goal do you have for yourself for 2022? Um, right now we're just expanding outside of uh just entertainment. Uh, I want to do real estate. I want to uh, actually, good thing. Who's robbing my car? Somebody's shit. Huh? And they get you. And they get me. Got him. Welcome to Atlanta. Oh, play is play. Um, 
but I like every day. I have a class that I'm teaching. It's a content creation class that's actually happening tomorrow. When's this air? This is right now. Okay, all right. Hey, tomorrow. Go to. (laughs) Right Right now. Right now. So go to the link in my bio. Mm -hmm. I got a content creation class where I'm teaching everybody how to gain a million plus of followers, like myself, and how to turn those followers into dollars. Now I've been in the game. Where this class is at? It's on. it's, It's online. You can do it from anywhere. You just go register in the link in the bio and mm-hmm. come see me tomorrow, 7 o'clock um, on the East Coast and 4 o'clock on the West Coast. It's going down, baby. So how long you in Alina for? I leave Sunday, you said. First of all, why does your voice keep changing? Because <laughs> she hit me. So how long? <laughs> she hit me from the Jenny from the block. So how long you going to be here? If you want to know, baby, uh-huh. Sunday. What's good? What's good? <laughs> we outside. What's good, Zaza? <laughs> No, nah, we outside all weekend, so okay. I just want to let you know. Hit we got up. a lot of Hit shit up, going boo-boo. on. We're going to be outside. So before we get out of here, yes, ma'am. I need you to stay here. Yes, ma'am. Because I have the next segment of my show. Okay. And it's like really fun. And okay. then we got tea time. And I need everybody to participate in this tea time. Even though I know a lot of y'all are not going to be honest, but... I'm going to be honest. Boy, you're about to break it down. Yeah. So definitely, before we get out of here, let them know your Instagram and where they can find you. You can find me at Jahan Jones (laughs) on everything. She coughed all over my stuff. Oh, my God. Jahan. (laughs) That's Zaza. Uh, Jahan Jones. That's J-U-H-A-H-N Jones. Y'all going to write this or you really got it? They're not gonna write this. He's like, it's live. (laughs) J-U-H-A-H-N Jones. That's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, every Twitter. Find everything. Me. Come to the class tomorrow. Learn how to get these followers and get these dollars and quit your job, fam. Period. That's for Period. entrepreneurs, rappers, singers, um, anything. Come through. All right. Be free. Amen. So, yes, we're going to gonna need another seat to slide over because, baby, this is the favorite part of my time. She ready to get in it. She ready to get in it. Yeah, she could get in the middle. Baby. No, you get up and get on the end. I ain't mean to say that mad That's aggressive. Me. No, no, my no, bad. Get, 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 Nigga said, no, yeah. you get up and get on it. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Definitely was the New York. <laughs> so, what I want to let you guys know. You know, we still, sh- you know, free my nigga Crick Curry. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you because he st- he was here when this Cheeks of the Week thing started. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And Cheeks of the Week is going to keep going and it's going to escalate. And Shout we got so many fucking things going for that. And what you want to say, Miguel? Because so this that, nigga got index cards this week. Hey, I I'm like, make shit. Sure, make I, sure my these. hot ass need to have them shits. Make sure I get a copy next week. I'm yep, going to sit here too. I got so you. I got you. Got shit. you. The last shout out we got, we got Icon Event Space, um, where they will be hosting the uh, Black Only Awards, where we will be doing the red carpet um, on Saturday. Yes. So make sure you check them out. Make sure you come out. Check us out. Yes. Um, and, and then, make sure y'all know that it's dressing to dress to impress. So don't think you coming up there with no jeans and no motherfucking sneakers, cause it said red fucking carpet, okay? Not your carpet, okay? All right, facts. my bad, sorry. Facts. And then we can move on to cheeks of the week. Yes. But please. I'm actually gonna let BK Exotic <laughs> yes, do the intro, just yes. like as Crip Curry, he would do the intro. So we're gonna have. Mr. BK Exotic, step on. He's going to introduce Cheeks of the Week. Yes, 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 yes. Mr. Mr. First and foremost, you know, free my brother, Crip Curry, man. You already know, man. I sent the uh, the drop to y'all mm-hmm. that he did for today. You know, he sends Aww. his loves. He said Skittles. Who you said to drop to? For real. He waiting to talk to you, Skittles. He, he said, waiting to talk to me? Yeah, he said, no, nah, he don't want nothing from you. He said, don't run from the call. He don't want nothing from you. I'm he not going to run from no he phone did. call. That sound like him, though. Like, that sound like him. Don't run message, from the call. So he, know I it, so he know I delivered the message correctly. You so know what when saying? he said, don't run from the call. Yeah, he out. said, he just want to, you know, you said, he just said, you sis. So he just want to make sure you good. All day, I got him. Nigga, let me tell you something. I fuck with all my niggas behind the wall. I love y'all. And what people don't know about me, like, I legit have a Core Links account. So let me just put this out there just right. so y'all too. know. I have a Core Links account. And my email, realskittles at gmail.com, is linked to my Core Links. I don't fuck with pedophiles, rapists, none of them little weird ass motherfuckers. Y'all could die. 
Okay. Facts. And you know, everybody else, like motherfuckers be needing people to talk to. It's been COVID. I know niggas couldn't even get visits for two years. I couldn't even get a visit to my nigga. I couldn't even get married when I was supposed to get married to my nigga in jail. So I definitely understand. So I'm all for it. I don't run from no jail phone calls. It depends on if you how you trying to call. Cause nigga, y'all niggas in jail be doing too much. But they could also add the core links, take my email, real skittles, R-E-A-L-S-K-I-D-D-L-E-Z at gmail.com and pen pal. Like, nigga, you're not getting no naked flicks. I don't think you're getting that. You can follow the gram because a lot of y'all niggas got phones. We already know. Hey. And, um, yeah, move and shake. But I definitely, I'm going to hit him up or you can send me the information. I'll write him. He could take my name, government name, and add me to the list. So you can motherfucking hit me, bro. I got you. Yeah. So... This is your boy BK Exotics. Yo, follow me on IG. Shout out to Emark, Universal Music Group, Team Showbiz, you know what I'm saying? Empire, Othos, you know what I'm saying? Oh, also, yo, y'all go follow my big bro, man. He just got his 9010 deal with the Empire, man. He dropped a song, uh, M3 Voodoo. It'll be dropped, everything will be all platforms tonight. Ooh. But I'm here to introduce <laughs> the first lady of BK Management. Man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I fought with her, y'all. Like that That's ass. some dope ass shit, cause you know she ain't just the second lady and then the <laughs> other girl and the other girl. Nah, and yo, listen. She's the yo, first I got lady. folks mad about my decision too. Like I got you other let haters. Them be mad. They yeah, be right. it's okay though. Y'all mm -hmm. know I don't give a damn. I'm a real Brownsman, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Yep. So at the end of the day, let me introduce her. Here she go, the cheeks of the week, Alex Harmony. Yes. And it was the Alex, no. it was the way she spelt it for me. It was just the whole thing. First of all, just so you know, wait, don't sit down yet, baby. Don't sit down yet. Because your cheeks of the week, okay? So, cheeks of the week, you got to show the cheeks. You, yeah, yeah, we want to see the. Can, hold on, wait, move over this way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. The cheeks. Oh, and they soft. You got some soft skin. Yeah, I'll move that mic, man. Like, oh, wait, wait, the mic. No, no, not that one, not that one, the other one. This one? This the one right there, yeah. You got it? You want to do it again? Do it again. Yeah, do it again. That, that camera didn't see it, yes. Look at it, and it's so nice. Look. It's plump. Yeah. Oh, like, right. like I work out just so it like sit up. Mm, that's the trick to it. She got the humble. All right. That's so you got that by working out or you got that you had that and you just oh toned it out. You toned it up. Yeah. Yeah, I can't work out. I'm lazy as fuck. I be working out thinking about food. I don't know how y'all do that shit. It's not I do too. I ain't even okay. Like I I be eating a lot. So you pretty I as fuck, baby. Where you from now? That's what I'm I want to I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Damn, what bring you to Atlanta? Um, I wanted something new. Hey, wait, new. talking to here because we need to hear you, baby. Mm -mm. I wanted I wanted something new. I wanted a new environment. You know, I wanted to start over. Mm. I don't know nobody here. I, I'm tired of, like, just going to back and forth. Miami, Jacksonville, Tampa, Jamaica. You know, I'm Jamaican. Shout out to my island guys. <laughs> That just, that just made me love her more. That's it. Like, yes, go ahead. Right. My mother's Jamaican and German. Okay, yes. Shout out to Jamaican. Um, St. Elizabeth, my um brothers and they friend, family is from St. Anne's, Montego Bay. Okay. Yeah, my pop's, my pop's Jamaican, you heard? Tivoli. Tivoli. My pop's Jamaican, we're trying to cut you now. Shout out to St. Catherine. Shout out to St. Catherine. Don't play like that. Oh, my pop's shit. From, my pop's from Manchester and Mandeville in, uh, in the country. Okay. Yeah. And where you from in Jamaica? Oh, my family from Kingston. Oh, yeah. She yeah. from the yard. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that, 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 never mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh. You know. I was gonna say it's like the hood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The projects, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm from the projects shit, too. So, the fuck. I love the projects. Shit. Me too. I just ain't wanna you know, I'm offend just nobody. Them bitches. Fuck that shit. The projects <laughs> is lit. The right. fuck we get free carnet. Fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> Don't forget the food stamps. Girl, what? I love Period. my food stamps. I still get them. Fuck y'all. I, 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 I do too. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna get them shit for Alvin. Nigga. Man, listen. So yes, you here in Atlanta now, you knew. You doing your music, I see. Mm -hmm. First of all, you was doing a little sexy dancing thing. I seen that. I was like, <laughs> whoa. I'm really backwards. I watch videos first with no sound, mm -hmm. and then I press play on the sound and watch it mm -hmm. twice. Don't oh, judge me. you a me. true perv. Fuck, whoa. A true, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> nah, because videos look that's, way different when you're not listening to sound. That's a fact. That should be looking like they're doing all, all the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> then when you hit a beat, you're like, oh, okay, you on the beat. <laughs> you a true no, perv. I probably with you though, cause I, but I think it's like everything. all I seen was the, was the white outfit That's and it. then the pole, and I was like, oh, okay. Wow. Let me play. Hold on, what this saying? What she said? 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so now you doing music. So talk to me about that. Like what you what got you into doing the music? So you know, I've been singing all my life. Okay. Like Head Start, they was always making me sing all the time. Um, coming up, I was in a little group with my homegirl. We had a group called PBG. She actually just texted me about that shit today. <laughs> she was like, remember this group that we started? I'm like, yeah, girl, I remember that shit. So, so um, was y'all like a girl, a two, a duo? It was just two of us. Okay. She was she was pretty like me too, but she just was like, she didn't really take it serious like that. Okay. So I was just like, girl, bye. I'm going to continue to do it. Right. You have a nice day. Now she got two kids. She ready. She whole mom out here, which I don't knock it. Right, right, but right. I, I, I like to follow mom. I'm still following my Your dreams. Your dreams. You know? Right. So. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Them mm-hmm. kids are fucking be there. Trust me. Them right. motherfuckers cost a lot of motherfucking right. money. Right. Girl, I ain't having like no fucking more. Let me tell you that. But, um... Yeah, so now you out here, you doing your music. How has it been being a new artist? And I always feel like female artists, we have it way harder than male artists. Of course y'all do, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And then when they see sometimes that girls are dancers, they don't even take us serious. Nah. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, why? Because not for nothing, a lot of y'all niggas suck ass. Y'all got Definitely. no balls. <laughs> your jury fake and you can't fight. Period. Like, so all of this shit Period. y'all be talking about, oh y'all not about about none of that. About it. She just said everything that I was thinking. Like, like I'm that ass serious though. though. Like real shit. A lot of these niggas be talking and capping a hell of a lot of shit. Right. You be seeing them getting ran down on for their little metal chains. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, bro, can like, we, can we rap about real shit? Can we right. talk about real shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, how has it been being a female, being in the industry? So it's cool, you know. Like, I'm the type that like, I'm a hustler at the end of the day. Okay. Like I don't just I don't just like you said dance like mm-hmm. I dance but I I don't just dance dance I got businesses talk Period. about it let I me got, hear that you know I do nails I got a little suite downtown you Period. know around the corner. Period. Is it around the corner? I don't really know. I just know the address. <laughs> but I do hungry. nails. You know, I got a couple. I got a couple houses back in Florida. I bought. Okay. I, I got shit going on. You get what I'm saying? That's and on top hard. of that, I do music. So dancing is not the only thing that that's some that an artist do. That's just that's just there to help support it. Mm. Period. Fast money is easy money. It's so easy. I invest that money in my music. Because mm. music is expensive, especially when you're doing it by Girl. yourself. That's yes. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Is. It's a lot. So where do you see yourself this year, like taking off? Cause it's like we I didn't know all of the other businesses. Cause it's like not for nothing. You already fucking lit. Yeah. You understand what <laughs> I'm saying? It's just that you laid back with it. You mm-hmm. understand? And that's called humble. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And I, I like to see that with people because a lot of times people come off too cocky and you be like, shut the fuck up. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely take my hat off to you, you know, being a young female, mm-hmm. owning property. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm still growing, trying to get my shit on. You uh-huh. understand what I'm saying? And it's like all of us growing up, who the fuck owns shit that we know? In fact, nobody. Well, my grandmother, because she was Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Right. Only the West Indian people I know actually was owning shit. Like a regular like, American. Like, no. yeah, niggas don't, we yeah. don't, we don't own shit. No. Like, we own the kids we got. <laughs> right. That's about it. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. About the kids we yeah, got. that's the only shit that we could really say. So, definitely, I want to, you know, take my hat off to you as a young female that's doing that. You know what I'm saying? And what do you see coming outside of, you know, the houses and stuff like that? Like, what's your music? I see me- I see me. What you mean? What? Say it again. Like, where do you see yourself this year? Like, by the end of this year, what is your goal for your music? I see myself being a big star. I see myself blowing up because, like, I it's there. <laughs> it's just I just got to take it more serious. I be so focused on hustling, mm-hmm. getting money, and, and then trying to follow my dream as well. Mm-hmm. That's where I fuck up at. Period. Mm-hmm. But now I told myself this year, I said, I'm going to take this shit more serious. I'm going to get in the studio more. I'm going to. I'm going to start doing shit like this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start just being around people, going to events, going to listening parties, just doing shit mm-hmm. like that so I can run and go, run across different people. And Period. let me tell you, being in Atlanta is shit seven days the fuck a week. I'm, that's one thing I'm going to tell no y'all sleep. motherfuckers. I don't know how the fuck y'all function. I'm grown as fuck. Y'all young motherfuckers can have that shit. I need sleep. <laughs> These motherfuckers be outside all day. It's a day party, a listening party. It's yeah. all of this shit going on. Yes, it's sir. Too, it's too much for me. I'm outside, outside. Yeah, after hours, mm-hmm. after the after hours. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. I'm not doing that. After the, me the in club, New York. after the club, <laughs> I'm going to get food, which is in my home from my good old food stamps and then I'm going the fuck to sleep. I don't got time to be with y'all outside. That's when niggas die. Period. You know what I'm saying? Nick, after a certain time, yeah, yeah, like yeah. killer time, I'll be like, This no. is killing time. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, nope, going in the house. This is dead time. So definitely, 
I want you to let the people know what single you got out right now. Is there, is there a single? I forgot the name of it. Um, so yeah. I definitely want you to remind them what single you got out right now, what they could look forward to, and where they could find you at. Okay, so the new song I just dropped, I think I dropped it in March, March 25th. It's called F on Me. You can find it on mm. Apple Music, wow. iTunes. It's a good song. You should mm-hmm. I like it already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you should see the video I saw that went with the song. Uh, hey, it's F on Me? Shit, no, I the watch real video, the either. real content. Listen, it's coming. It's, I'm going to drop it. Oh, I just got to get it um, together. This shit is raw as hell. It matched with the song. So mm. just get ready. But yeah, y'all can um go 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 stream that on um iTunes, YouTube, all that stuff. I also... Um, Y'all can follow me on Instagram too at a l i x underscore h a r m o n i. I like Alex how you Harmony. spell that. That's cute too. Thank it you. was different. Yeah. And if you have any business <coughs> pages, also let them know too. All oh yeah, I have business right. pages. Okay, so my nail page is Harmony Luxury Nails. So y'all know y'all how can, to spell right? Harmony Luxury <laughs> Nails. You better. <laughs> <laughs> And what about the real estate? Is that j- just no, that's just that's regular. I, I actually, I actually have a management company over there. So mm, that's what's they up. They take care of everything over there. Yeah, she's lit as fuck, y'all. But make <laughs> sure right. y'all follow her because she got some shit going on for real. So here go Rich' favorite part. Yes. Okay. And I know some people may not answer this 100% honest, and it's cool, I guess. You suck, honestly. I'm going to just say that ahead of time. But anyway. That's cool. um, So, what I want to know is, everybody got a body count. (laughs) 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 But listen, because y'all know I'm extra with shit, right? Look, you took your blood back. (laughs) Nigga came and took his blunt back. That nigga put the blunt down. He about to walk away. That nigga said, wait a second. I'm going to catch you. Y'all on live TV. (laughs) So So all 70 something of the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got a body count. Let's go. We all grown as fuck. Okay. So I'm not going to (laughs) necessarily expect you all to give me your body count because technically I can't even fucking. I tried to figure it out to see if I could have gave y'all a number. Period. <laughs> Mm-mm. So, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. N- nigga, I'm 36. You outside too. Really? Nigga oh, said, wow. I've been smashing since I was a teenager. You fine, fine. Nigga said, wait, we want to talk about body count from which state? Uh, <laughs> like, my child was conceived in Vegas. I'm from New York. I live in Atlanta. Tea time. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, like, let's keep it. Let's not fucking act like niggas ain't been fucking, okay? Now, been y'all fucking can keep it. Been fucking. Y'all can keep it cute. That's cool. I'm going to keep it a buck. Let's I don't go. give a fuck. You let's understand go. what I'm saying? Let's go. Everybody got different body counts. So, we not going to talk about the body counts that you did for just to be smashing to take one for the team. We not going to talk about the, the body counts that motherfuckers have to do to get something strange for a piece of change. Yeah. <laughs> we not going to talk about, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, wow. because what my real question is, and what I really want to know is, can your body count, your record be deleted? Nope. <laughs> I feel like you can. Zaza. <laughs> <laughs> So, so nigga said so, Zaza. So, and then we have Gabe. I'm gonna give Gabe the mic, so he's also gonna go. Right. But let them know the order. He likes it. So <laughs> he's cool. He's gonna sit out on this one. So what I normally do is make sure you put that other camera. On I Gabe go when he last. Talks. I go last because I always have some extra ass shit. So I go last. Right. You go first. Damn. You always go. first. You right. Go ahead. It's like so don't. You right. You right. And then we gonna go bang 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 bang, <laughs> and we gonna keep it simple. And we're going to keep it cute because some of y'all may not want to. So you're asking if it could be a race. What like I'm asking is, what is y'all, like, do you have an average, oh, my bad, of what your body count is? Okay. And do you think that your body count or it should be deleted? Oh. Um, no. I don't think no. it should be. Why, why should it be deleted? I don't know. Because some, some fucks I be wanting back. Can't do it. Oh no, no. See, I right, like, see. The reason why, nah, 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 look. I honestly like when the cool I'm, people listen, be like, "Up, oh, take my fuck back, click I'm keep, and delete." I'm, I'm like, gonna keep it a buck with you now. I'm gonna keep it real. I always keep it real about this. And anybody watching live, I tell you, you feel me? Okay. I'm 42 years old. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And I've been with under 20 people because it's quality over quantity. I don't fuck some 
some shit in my life, some okay. bad, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't just fuck anybody because I was always been afraid of diseases. Mm-hmm. So that's why I couldn't just, and, and, and I got to like you. I got to know you to want to fuck you. I, could, I can't just fuck on people that I just met. I had one one night stand. And the way, the way, and the way she approached like the way it, think. the way she approached it, made me kind of feel like I knew her in that one night. So, so she, she, and she initiated, she initiated that shit. Stand. Yeah. So what I'm saying, I'm saying, so you really not like a dog ass nigga. Nah, 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 really not. Check you the fuck out. Yeah, I'm, I'm a whole dog ass nigga. But, but I, why? that's why I say that mine. <laughs> I'm with you, Susan. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, fuck that's, why, that's why I say to say, you know. Let me get my lighter. Nah, my shit. I, I wouldn't erase my shit because my shit is valid. So you, so you had to keep my your, shit your valid. Shit good. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of every last one of them. I'm proud. That, that's a good one, nigga. Nigga, proud. I'm proud. Yes, I'm not. Yeah. Mm-mm. Next. Who going? Like, Who's I ain't, next? I ain't sad about nothing. Who next? I go. You, know you want to go? Yeah. Come on. Keep it cute. Cause we gotta keep, we got three more people. Well, shit, my body count ain't even, look, I don't even remember my body count no more. It's, it's like that. Okay. If I could re- t- redo it over, yeah, yeah, I wish I could delete that shit. It's too many people. Oh, you, you, so you, you ain't got so a ballpark. You, so you wanna you wanna delete them because it's too many people, or you just wanna yeah, delete shy, some like, of them? That question that you asked made me really think. Like, we really gotta sit back and think about how many people you ever just really just fucked. It'd be like, damn, damn. Mm-hmm. See, I can't. Live you get to a certain I, number, count on you like. First of all, damn. That's let me roulette, let me baby. let y'all know something. Damn, am I really think about think about damn. how I felt thinking, make doing this question. Yeah. Like I really put into thought into this. No, but like, I just did because too. I had to. Think. She had to think about over it. Fifty, so it's like yo, nigga. I'm, I'm Come on, Mr. Jones. Oh, it's my turn. Yes, yeah, Mr. Jones. He's in the Atlanta water down here. Calico what are y'all Jones. Drinking? Um, no, he said over 50 people, not oh, 50 like, and age. Oh, I'm like, you ain't 50, right? Nah, oh, okay, because nah, I was about to say, shit. <laughs> like, what? I had to ask, like, shit, is he 50? I ain't gonna lie, I started looking younger after I got down here. Man, it's something different. It's something, I don't know Because we ain't stressed like we was yeah, in New York. Yeah, 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 like, right. that's what the fuck that is. Niggas live better. Yeah, uh-uh. Yeah. So go ahead, Mr. Jones. Oh, yeah, me. Calico. Um, uh, my answer, you probably already know, it's undecided. <laughs> Yo, not him with this undecided. It's undecided. It's undecided. Why we don't, is it we, undecided? Hey, we don't accept it. Ah, <laughs> we don't accept it. Why is it undecided? It's whatever number you imagine when you see me, I guess. You know, if that's, what type of shit if is that's that? five or ten or fifty or more. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna let you uh, let you guys put that in. What would I look like? I got how many? How, I mean, he done lied to a I'm few people. <laughs> how many you think it look like I got, baby? Go ahead. Go ahead, just, just guess. You, didn't, you ain't got nothing to lose. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with like 40, yeah, like 45. I look like I got 45. Yeah, I want to look give, like I could be smashing like that. Chocolate. I want to yeah. give him like you four. Teeth, don't call me chocolate shit, like that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm giving hey, she, she, she gave me the, the <laughs> face. <laughs> I want to get another like four. <laughs> You, you chocolate four? niggas be I wanna fucking. Give him four. He said, yeah, he said, he said, you get no pussy. He couldn't right, that's, 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 that's not. That's not what you. I'm saying. What I'm oh, saying is, he looked, oh, like he, a, he looked like a he looked like a relationship pussies. person. He oh, looked like he done oh. been in four good relationships, and that was <laughs> oh, it. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. I ain't trying to play him, but you know, I give him four. My bad. I only threw him out there and said he gets no pussy. She said that you lie. He gets no pussy. Bad days. All the way there. He's a virgin. We gonna go. Okay. With, we gonna go with my guy. We I like yeah. That. So now he gonna go with that shit. All yeah, right. You said forty five. <laughs> she said you chopping. Yeah. You be smashing. <laughs> she said you get all so the pussy. So come on. What you think though? What you, what you, what think? you got? What about you, um, Alex? Uh-uh. Harmony. Okay. With so your beautiful self. I ain't gonna cap. I'm a dog ass bitch. But it's a dog to a certain extent, you know. Right. Like I'm not gonna just be out here just fucking any nigga, like like you said. Right. Right. I'm not gonna just be doing that. That's stupid. That's mm-hmm. just obnoxious. But if I fuck with you and I like you and I wanna fuck, I'ma fuck you. Right. But I ain't gonna cap like I be fucking. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm thinking about it. Like I be fucking. All right, can we can we get a can we get like a uh, average <laughs> number, please? About. <laughs> Come on, let's give it about. We, so we can, can I add something too? I had a girlfriend for like three years, so they kind of like brought it back okay. a little bit. So oh, wait, 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 girl, you think that erase shit? Yeah, hell yeah. That erase shit, you said? Yeah, no, no, no. It don't erase it, but Uh-oh. at the same time, it do. Oh, okay. it, it hold it holds you back from it from holds the me dick. back from dick. from from being yes. a hoe. Okay, no, not necessarily. <laughs> you a, a dog? From I'm being, sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. Why can't be hoe from being a hoe? Like, Listen, it's, it didn't, I didn't mean it like okay, that. Okay, so in my 24 years, oh, you young? I would say oh. it's under 25. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. One dude a year. <laughs> it can't be one dude a year. What kind of, what kind of nigga? This nigga said one dude a year. One dude a year. One nigga a year. So she was fucking at one and two? She good too. What the fuck? I'm just saying, you know what I'm trying to say. But you know, when you, when you lose your opportunity, you be just ready to just Ready to go. Like, yeah, you know what you like. You just trying to get it. It's all good. Ready to win. All right. Um, come on, Queens. Don't be scratching your motherfucking head. Let's hear it. Because you look quiet. Watch the Queens answer. See, let me tell you what they tell you about quiet girls. The reason why they don't like to talk is because they don't want to open their mouth because a skeleton might pull out that motherfucker. Not a skeleton. I don't got no skeleton. All right. Talk about it, Queens. Um, honestly, I'm a relationship person. So okay. I was in an 11 year relationship. Oh. So y'all can have an idea that I, my body you. count is very low. Like, why and I'm got, cool with that. Okay. You're, you're not going to say no number? No, no, I'm good off the number, but like I said, I was in the middle of here. That's a squeeze answer. Get off the number. Yeah. Like, Shout out to you being, being a queen. I never cheated, so I can say that. I was in a 11-year relationship. I never cheated. And then I was with my boyfriend for two years, so, and I never cheated. So. Yeah, when I'm in a relationship, I don't cheat either. So. Yeah, but everybody else do. And yeah, my recent relationships, I ain't even let shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, no, I never cheated. Let me shut the fuck up, though. I went on vacation Continue. and everything. I never cheated. We also got Gabe, too. Shout out to you. If you don't want Gabe, you cool. You don't have to if you don't mm-hmm. want to. I'll just say, like, real men Camera. don't kiss and tell. All right. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. That's a cute answer. I like that real one. Real men don't kiss and tell, but I do write some songs about it, and I got 2,500 songs written. So. Oh, nah, okay. Turn it to the money. He said, the man, That was the number right there. Y'all right. heard it, right? Right. 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 Like, 2,500 so, songs. So, is it my goal? You done right. been through some things. So, um, here we go. I don't know what y'all wait for me for. Like, we we just, I'm just shit like everybody knows. She got a like, verse right now, bitch. It ain't Get even ready. a verse. Like, Get why ready. y'all always think I'm trying to rap up here? I'm not. So, for one, I'm definitely not going to give y'all a number because I can't really give y'all a number. Ladies, don't do that. Hey, you you we, we said, we like, said averages, though. I can't even average you a number because there's different... All right, see me, I have a mind of a female mm-hmm. and a mind of a nigga. At the same damn time. And then it's good, but it's bad. So a lot of things that I could sit there and say I've done for business arrangements, if you want to call them, mm. or you understand, Interesting. in my past, you mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Like, so those were things that were done specifically for those reasons. those reasons you understand what i'm saying so it's not like that was dick that i was like oh my god that's my dick you understand what right. i'm saying it was dick that i had like, so if we are if we erase all of those extra miscellaneous- right so now what i sat there and actually went through like my real relationships yeah. you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. and it's crazy because i'll be 36 and i had my first boyfriend like real relationship ended up being my baby daddy when I was 13. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? I had a kid when I was 16. You know what I'm saying? I moved out my mama house and moved across the street with my baby daddy and his mama at 14. (sighs) Like, yeah. I moved out across the street. No, dead ass. Real Bronx shit. But we was downtown by that time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but still. So it's like relationships, serious relationships. I've had 13 serious relationships relationships okay. like 13 niggas that i really love 13 niggas i did dumb dick shit for 13 niggas i done held they drugs held they pistols hey, 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 we that's fine i don't give you a damn shit 13 niggas you done beat up Nick, I didn't put my hand on all of them. Like, y'all really be thinking I really... It don't even be like I just be beating niggas. Like, niggas be... Niggas be doing shit that call for them to get punched in their motherfucking mouth. And it's just that y'all used to dealing with bitches that's not gonna hook off on your shit. I'm gonna coke your fucking eye, nigga. Try me. I second that notion. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's just me. You feel me? And... It it was, yeah, that was. Nigga looked around. Like, Look, she opened her mouth and a skeleton fell the fuck that, out. That's no, what I'm only saying. For that. I feel like and you then, disrespect your lady, you nah, deserve that. Nah, you you do, understand you what do. I'm saying? But what I will say, ladies, please don't think that a nigga not gonna hook back off on you. So if you, <laughs> if you ready to swing one, please be ready to eat one at the Period. same time. That's all I gotta say. Don't Period. go out here and listen to Skittles and call me on the DM with your shit coat, sis. It was not my fault. All right. Period. All right. Um, but I just feel like the reason why I asked this question was because now that I'm grown, you understand what I'm saying? I don't be, you know, outside dealing with a lot of people now. Like, right. even as you've known me since I've been here, like, I've been engaged, separated. I was engaged to yeah. a person in jail. I wasn't even getting no dick for a long time. You understand what I'm saying? Then, 
relationship didn't work then that didn't work and then this relationship that y'all just went through with me on right. this show didn't work so it's like you know you've been on your grown shit. i've tried to do it you mm -hmm. understand what i'm saying but now i'm to the point where it's certain people i'm mad i even gave the coochie to like i respect the fact that i even had business arrangements that i gave the coochie for compared to certain people i just gave it to because i thought he loved me or oh that was, he told me he was gonna be my nigga or, you understand because we go for a lot of dumb shit, especially right. when you slinging dick and you doing what you're supposed to do we get blindsided sometimes you know what i'm saying so Taking i time. just i just wanted to say publicly that if i blocked you and you smashed before you got erased. That's it. Like, <laughs> that's it. You're not a part of my body count no more. Cool beans, whoever got you could have you. They could keep you. All of that. Fuck with all of y'all talk about. Period. They out of my body count. We Period. done started over. Period. You understand? Like, shit's still tight. It's Period. rejuvenated. Like, we, we back to it, okay? Period. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to fucking say for today. <laughs> right. Once again. Well, I just, you know, I have to be honest. No, you yeah, understand definitely. what I'm saying? Like, but, I respect your honesty. Yeah, like, I really don't care what everybody else have to say. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? Like, but out, that was just, you know, my little moment with tea time. And I'm happy that you all guys shared me. Y'all undecided and barely remembered. And some of y'all, you know, body counts. It's cool. We all have a life. Get to it. It's Phoenix. fine. <laughs> but what I do want to let y'all know is, first of all, my motherfucking single drop tomorrow. Let's talk about that. Tomorrow. About Fucking it. Freak Nasty will be out on all platforms on the 29th. In three Friday. minutes. Tonight. Oh, okay. Three yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Three minutes. Um, it three will minutes. be out. Oh, 13 on minutes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I was I'm sitting dyslexic. here looking like my shit is yeah, slow. Yeah, right. 13 minutes. Um, so Freak Nasty, shout out to my guy, VVS Ocho. It was originally his track. He sent it to me. I was like, sis, sis what you think about this? Mm -hmm. And the, the, his part was fire, but the nigga sounded like tired like nigga that's all you was gonna give the track uh -huh, like right. so he like you took a shit then jump on the track with me <laughs> say less 48 hours i was done was ready to go and now he like nah sis like you go first you you go you do this like so yes freak nasty will be out on all platforms tomorrow well in a couple of minutes yeah and that's me and my guy vvs ocho on that we are shooting the video when i come back from dr the video will be at a mansion pool party it's going to be a freak nick pool party so, so those I'm who ready. know what freak nick was please bring your 90s bullshit bring the 90s hairstyle the 90s Everything. clothes the get Everything. up we the coochie cutters with no drawers on, bitch. It's going down. All the way. We shoot in the censored version, and then the uncut version Period. is gonna go on the OnlyFans. You can go on Pillow Talk with Skittles, the same way the Instagram is on OnlyFans. No, you will not see me playing with my pussy up there. Nope. But you will see a lot of the unedited, X-rated, behind the scenes video shoots pool parties everything from dr that's gonna be behind the scenes make sure you tune on that motherfucker because it's going down three weeks from now memorial day getaway skittles your girl pillow talk with skittles will be in the building covering media and behind the scenes of all the lit ass parties we got going on in dr and this saturday very, very big. Your girl, of course, Pillows Over Skittles, Ow. is covering red carpet media for the Black Only Soul Awards. <laughs> it's definitely going to be lit. Shout out to everybody from that team. Thank you for having me a part of it. They even reached out to me, and I was like, hey, I see y'all got more people. Do y'all need anything else? Yeah, so I'm also presenting the award of the year as well. So at 8.15, I will be presenting the um best writer of the year award that's what i meant to say and then they're gonna play my song at the after party oh, wow. and, then and then we got the owner who put it all together coming on the show next thursday Ooh. okay Good job. so let me let you know when i tell you y'all think it be on uh, 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 outside on the gram we motherfucking working we had a party we working you see us somewhere we're working okay working, working. skittles is getting to it right now it's so fucking crazy we got so much shit going on is am i leaving anything out and then after that we got the big flex. oh we got big, big flex, flex exclusive models yeah. big flex fashion party on sunday 
Ma'am, when I tell you that shit is gonna be so crazy, cause exclusive models, they're like lit as fuck. They was up here last for their episode. interview last episode. Right. And they're putting together this dope ass fashion party and they bring fashion for right. real, for real. So models, if y'all not doing vendors. nothing Sunday, make sure y'all pop out. You can follow them on their Instagram exclusive models. It's also on our um flyer for last week. Um, what else we got going on? And then you got the DR trip. Let them know about that. Just did. She just did. Yeah, you, so you missed that. Er, no, no, we not done yet. Let me let y'all know. You ready, Rich? Ready. All right, so let me let y'all hear. This is my motherfucking single. It's about to drop in a couple of motherfucking minutes everywhere on motherfucking iTunes, Spotify. Put it through your phone. Put it through the USB. I don't give a fuck how you play it, but make sure you listen to this motherfucking shit because, bitch, this is nasty. And the one and only freak nasty. Ah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's for the ladies, though. Little nasty, she a baddie, she a freak asshole. How she throw it, make it wobble, and she touching her toes. Poke it out and lick the lips, and then she drops to the flow. Little nasty, she a baddie, she a freak ass hoe. How she throw it, make it wobble while she touching her toes. Poke it out and lick her lips and drop down to the flow like. Let's get it up. Real nasty ladies. You got me feeling real risky, paint my face feeling sticky, begging on my knees like daddy damn, can you come and dick me? I don't waste cum, sucking on that head while it's drippy like. Fitting on a dick, getting shit, coming, coming, stick me, talking shit like, ooh, daddy, can you fuck me like you miss me? Not playing with you or no itty bitty dicky like. Your girl, I don't care about it. She could join about an hour, then I smash it in the shower. Get the money, got the power. Give your face a golden shower. It is pussy, he devoured. Ate it up for an hour. Love, he don't play about it. Little nasty, she a baddie, she a freak ass hoe. How she throw it, make it wobble while she touching her toes. Poke it out and lick her lips and drop down to the flow like. Little nasty, she a baddie, she a freak ass hoe. How she throw it, make it wobble, and she touching the toes. Touch Poke it out and lick them lips, and then she drops to the flow. Drop it low. Hot summers, come here. All 22. Beat it up, she want me to eat it up. I'm trying to shoot the club up, I want to see you up. Need some protein, I'm going to feed you nut. I'm a freak nasty, I might eat the bus. Sucking on your pussy while my feet is up. Tastes like candy, yeah, she's sweet enough. Call her brandy, I just need a cup. Yeah, she milky, told her shake it up. If she kinky, I'm going to make it suck. Pop the yerky, now I'm lit as fuck. She talking spicy before I tear it up. She with the best sheets, I got to clean it up. Little nasty, she a baddie, she a freak ass hoe. How she throw it, make it wobble while she touching her toes. Poke it out and lick her lips and drop down to the flow like. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Little nasty, she a baddie, she a freak ass hoe. How she throw it, make it wobble and she touching her toes. Poke it out and lick them lips and then she drop to the flow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rocky, 125, Brooklyn, Atlanta, Orlando, Indianapolis, Houston, and now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what's good? Yeah, to put the plug on there. Nah, okay. it's cool. <laughs> nah, I was gonna go straight out. <laughs> no, you good. So it was going into the radio, but no, I, I definitely yeah, understand. Yeah. I just wanna appreciate you for playing my motherfucking shit. Cause oh, let me let y'all know, know all y'all bitches much. is about to be shaking your ass in the motherfucking club. Okay, and for all of those that wanna send me the videos, all of that shit gonna go up on my OnlyFans too, cause we getting turned up all motherfucking summer. So make sure you going down that motherfucking track. It's gonna be on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, all of that shit. On the Instagram, you can watch it, link it, click it, do everything. And next fucking Thursday, make sure y'all here with the one and only Skittles on Pillow Talk with Skittles. <laughs> and we out. You are now tuned in to Black 